Hey, what's up, everybody? So right now, the Golden State Warriors, they are sitting at 1-3, and, and I'm here to tell you the truth about the Golden State Warriors. So before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for giving me a chance. If you like the video and you like the content, make sure you click the subscribe button at the end. I got everything from football and basketball. This is the channel you need to be at, so make sure you click the button. Now let's actually get into the video. So like I said, right now the Golden State Warriors, they 1-3, and, and fans around the league are enjoying it because simply the Golden State Warriors have been dominating basketball for the last five years. And I'm not going to lie, I was one of the people that actually believed that the Golden State Warriors would be fine if they could hold up until the All-Star break, which is when Klay Thompson was originally supposed to make a return. But they were saying that Klay Thompson might even return this season. But back to the point, after seeing them put up Awful efforts against the Clippers, which was pretty much expected. But the Thunder and the Suns, I had to get to reevaluating things. And this is what I came up to. I mean, came up with. Steph Curry would have to play at an MVP level to keep this team alive. But he just broke his hand. So he's not expected to miss anywhere between one and two months. This leaves the Warriors with D'Angelo Russell, Draymond Green, and Carly Stein leading the way. Which is just not going to cut it. D'Angelo Russell, of course, he got the time to get his own. We've seen what he did in Brooklyn, but Draymond Green, man, he yesterday, this man said, sub me, and he had two points. He finished the game with four points. Do you really believe Draymond Green is going to step up that drastically to keep these dudes alive? No, and then Carly Stein is just Carly Stein, man, you feel me? So even if Steph Curry was healthy, there are still issues that will hold them back. And this is really the harsh truth about the Golden State Warriors. Number one, the defense is truly an issue. The Warriors are really hurting by losing KD, Iguodala, and Sean Livingston in free agency because they were outstanding starter slash role players that did their job on both sides of the ball. It's just that simple. Then on top of that, they are running a small ball lineup because Carly Stein was hurt. Carly Stein actually was playing last night, but I think he came off the bench. So Draymond was still starting at the center position. It's just not working out. So it's mandatory that Carly Stein starts immediately. Then on top of that, they got D'Angelo Russell running shooting guard. D'Angelo Russell is already a defensive liability at point guard. So when you ask him to guard dudes like um, the Lou Williams when he's in the the uh the donovan mitchell's the old depot so on and so on he's not going to be able to check it is what it is and even when clay thompson returns he's going to be pushed to the three you expect him to seriously be able to guard lebron james Kawhi leonard and let's say deanza russell stays next season the kds let's be realistic he's not going to be able to do shit with them but the warriors are still missing this defense at the end of the day and then number two Look at the bench slash role players. The Warriors bench consists of inconsistent players who lack defense and experience. Let's talk about Amore Spellman. Amore Spellman has looked pathetic, bro. He from Cleveland. I, I respect him for making it out, but he's been looking pathetic, man. He's slow. He's lacking defense. He's not able to score the bucket. He's making scoring difficult. Just looking at that play where he was on a fast break and just did, you know, that y'all know what's up, man. That was foolishness, you feel me? Then on top of that, Outside of Draymond Green, since Steph Curry is gone, the Warriors have a very, very young roster, so mistakes are bound to happen. So with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson now, the Warriors are not going to be able to hold it up. It is what it is, man. But I do feel like the Warriors must fight through the hard times, and when the offseason comes, they must sacrifice D'Angelo Russell. Nothing against him, but he's a great asset they can use to get pieces in place to help their roster now. And in the future, if they want to, you know, take advantage of having Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, because they both are getting old. You feel me? So that's the path I expect them to take. Like I said, the philosophy they got right now is just not working with the roster. Everybody knows the Warriors are a high scoring team. They're up tempo. They will shoot you out the game. That's how they win games. The roster they got right now is just not in their favor. They're at a disadvantage and it's being exposed simply as they are losing to the Phoenix Suns. Even though the Phoenix Suns were playing better basketball, it's just no way. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. How do you think the Warriors should take things now since they got Steph Curry off for two months at least and stuff like that? Let me know everything. Like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming soon.